Hey there, Marvel fans. This is Wesatron. Today we're going to be taking a look at Metacom's Mafex Amazing Spider-Man action figure. Um, I'm assuming that it's Mafex. It may be Mafex or Mafex. Who knows? But basically, uh, the M-A-F-E-X here is uh, just like the Bruce Lee figure, Miracle Action figure uh, that they'd released before. But now it's got the E-X. So Miracle Action figure E-X, which is, I don't know, extreme or something. Who knows? Uh, something cool. Uh, you can see this is figure number 001. This is the first figure they've released. Um, I do have Batman from the Dark Knight series uh, already on its way here, so I'm very excited to have that one as well. What's really cool about this series is that typically uh, with Japanese non-scale figures, we get uh, usually around 5-inch figures, um, like, you know, SH Figuarts, um, Figma... Uh, gosh, everything like that. SRC, lots of the Bandai stuff. Um, but uh, this series is actually, I think, geared uh, towards six-inch fans. This is a one-twelfth scale, scale figure, um, so it should be roughly six inches in height. So he will be able to fit in with your like Marvel Legends, or um, in my case, what I really want to do, I haven't ordered him yet, but I want to get the uh, DST Lizard so that he'll have someone to fight that's uh, a little smaller, make him Lizard look bigger, but also on par with his look and paint. So, standard window box from Japan. Um, the uh, design from the uh, suit is here with the uh, sort of honeycomb look, and then there's the spider down here. Amazing Spider-Man stuff up here. There's a shot of the figure down here, Metacom toys, uh, legal jargon and whatnot, ages 15 and up. So, uh, this is adult collectible, not a toy. That's interesting. Side, we've got a shot of the figure. Uh, all the various poses um, and things. Another shot of the figure here on the side, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the box contains uh, the typical uh, tray inside, black background with a uh, clear plastic tray over top, and then the stand is hidden behind there. So this figure was about uh, 29 or $30 from Amiyami, and he just came in. Um, these things just started hitting, so we've only seen a few Japanese uh, reviews go up. I'm very excited to have him, very excited to get him out of the box. Let's see what this guy is like. Here's Spider-Man out of packaging. Uh, I just kind of wanted to open up and let you guys see just how amazing this posability is. Um, we'll talk about the articulation in itself, but um, his ability to hold poses is actually quite outstanding. Uh, this, is, this is a very complicated pose to pull off, and I just wanted to show you how the center of him, his feet are forward, his back, his, like, he's arched like this, basically, at a nice angle. But he's also very stable, like he's he's not going anywhere. Like you can push him over if you want to, but like, you know, if you pound on the table, it's not gonna make him fall or anything. He's actually very stable he'll here, partly in due to uh, his uh, very large feet, but also because uh, the articulation is just very sound. So very, very cool. They did a really, really cool job with this. Um, yeah, you can just pick him up and set him back down like that and he's not gonna tip over. So very, very nice. Um, let me uh, pull the camera out, and we will take a closer look at his details. And here's Moffex Spider-Man, just a little closer up. You can see they uh, have done uh, the sculpting of the web, just like the uh, both DST and Hasbro, I believe, all did the sculpted web. Um, they also did the uh, texture on the suit itself. Uh, on his, it appears that they have done a blue f uh, like flat base and then gone over it uh, with a black dry brush to really bring out those details um, as, as far as the blue goes on the black I think they did the black dry brush on the or I'm sorry on the red I think they did the black dry brush only on the webbing and stuff um, but yeah it looks really really nice just this guy just looks absolutely outstanding as I said they did decide to give him kind of long pointed toes um, that may be a problem for some people aesthetics wise uh, but for me, I think it's perfect because it really, really helps him capture his um, harder to uh, balance poses, which I think is very cool. Um, they did also do like jewel-like eyes instead of just sculpting, uh, you know, ridges in the eyes or anything like that, and then painting them gold. They actually put in like little lenses, which I think looks really, really nice. I know not everybody likes the the gold look, but um, I mean, as far as like a blue and red costume goes, I, I'm not really bothered by it because gold goes just as well as white does. It's just, you know, how you prefer your iconic look to go. So very, very nice in terms of uh, detail. Very cool. Um, now, what you get in the box, well, for one, his hands. Uh, I already swapped out the uh, fisted hands um, 
for a kind of relaxed pose hand over here. And over here I did the uh, the web shooting hand and uh, some one of his web uh, extensions, which is very easy to do. These are just on a simple uh, peg system, not even ball joints like uh, the uh, SH Figure Arts figure. So you can just pull that right off, and then this part just slides over that whole ball. It's a, it's so simple they didn't even include instructions. Like it's very very intuitive. Um, now this is a clear piece, but it's not super flexible. Like there's some flex to it, but it, it doesn't feel like it's going to like sag over time or anything, which I think is very cool. So yeah, uh, and this handle just peg right back on there. What I really dig about the uh, web shooting hands is that you know they actually curved his pinky up, which I thought was a really nice touch. And as same for his uh, first finger here, because if you think about it, when you do this, you know your fingers go out fine. When you bend your wrist back, notice how that naturally like pulls your pinky kind of uh, into a curl. Uh, so I thought that was a nice little touch, you know, something that uh, you don't usually see on Spider-Man figures, but it's very cool. Uh, the detail on the hands is also very fantastic. They did a great job with the sculpt, but also the paintwork is very nice. Um, there is some slop on the different sets of hands, but for the most part, it looks very, very nice. You know, for having such intricate gloves, they actually came out very well. So you get this many hands in the set. So we have uh, an open set. Looks very nice, you know, just uh, kind of like splayed out. Um, it'll be good for like ground poses where he's, or like wall poses if he's climbing, or if he's just kind of relaxed, sitting his fingers down, which is very cool, left and right. And of course, the, uh, the it does have the darker blue padding on the inside. Hopefully you can see that these are very small, but uh, yeah, you see how it's darker blue there and lighter blue there? That is actually a painted dark color. So I think that's very cool. We've got the... Uh, uh, fisted hands, which we had on in the box, but you can get a better look at them here. Very, very nice sculpt work there. Very cool set of those. Here's the other uh, web shooting hand. He's got one for each wrist, and as well, he's also got an extra uh, web piece for his left wrist if you would like to put both of those on at the same time. So very cool. He can uh, kind of uh, double team it up with his web shooters. Very nice. Uh, and here we have, this is uh, another one of his relaxed hands. So you've kind of already seen that, but but uh, lastly we have the uh, gripping hand, which is designed specifically to work with his uh, last accessory, which is um, well I guess uh, penultimate accessory, uh, which is his final accessory here is another clear piece of plastic, and uh, this one doesn't have any attachments for the wrist. It just is simply designed to go through his hands. So if you want to do like swinging poses like that, uh, it goes perfectly, and it does slide into the uh, hands very easily. So it's it's actually so easy that uh, I was a little worried that it might slip out, but um, it's held on pretty well so far. It hasn't gone anywhere. And also, I mean, if you've got both hands on it especially, it'll uh, hold in there very well. So very cool. Uh, and like I said, those hands are really, really easy to swap out. So I did say that was his penultimate accessory. Let me slide these to the side. Uh, because he also comes with a stand, very much like most figure arts and Figma figures. Uh, his is very clear, as opposed to like the cloudier version that they sometimes do, uh, but very similar in design. There's two peg holes here on the sides, and then one in the back. You can put your uh, stand piece anywhere in any of those holes. And there is an articulation point at the base, as far as swivel. So that goes back and forth, and then there's a hinge here, another hinge here, another hinge here, and a swivel up here, where it connects to the waist piece, and the waist piece uh, is a very sturdy piece of plastic up here, you know, a nice big screw in there, um, and two big clamps that will close around. Very tight, very nicely done, and all of these uh, swivel points, or hinge points, excuse me, uh, are uh, reinforced with screws, so if they get loose over time, you can give them a little tighten. So very cool, and that will grab him and hold him very easily, which I can show right here, and it makes it easy to, like, swing his legs up and do a, you know, a, some kind of pose, I don't know there. That's how Spider-Man swings from building to building. <laughs> like a businessman. Very cool. Spider-Man. Yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, so yeah, very nice stand is included with the set, which is cool because it is a 6-inch uh, centric stand, so you could use it with your other 6-inch figures if you wanted to. Um, not that Tamashi stages don't work or anything, but... Now, articulation-wise, this guy, as you saw at the very beginning of the video, is outstanding. 
Uh, he got a lot of really cool things going for him. He's got a double ball jointed neck, which means he's got a uh, ball joint down here at the base and then one at the base of the skull. So he's got motion there and then motion again there. So you get awesome motion on his neck. Very far down, very far up, which is good for when you get those low poses. He can still look forward. Very, very cool. Very excited about that. In the shoulders, uh, we have uh, a hinge joint in here as well as the swivel, but the swivel is actually a ball joint that goes into the midsection. So if you pull out here, you can see the arm can go forward and back and sort of up and down on its own, and then there's a hinge on top of that, which is not part of the, of the uh, ball joint action. So move those all together and you get a very nice rotation there, which is very cool. Now these do pop out if you move them too far because it is a simple ball joint. I have noticed a little bit of stress marks on both shoulders where they've popped out, um, but you know, no breakage or anything, and hopefully you can fix those with uh, some uh, heat from a hairdryer. So very cool, uh, very nice action there though, very, very nice. Uh, swivels in the biceps muscles. So. They go all the way around. They will go 360. I'm just trying not to avoid, you know, rubbing the pain as much as I can. Uh, double hinges in the elbows. First point. Well, I'll just move them both together. You can see that they, they have very nice range on there. Um, yeah. You can get very, very nice range and almost touch his shoulder. His arm's a bit long for it, but... We also have in the midsection here, uh, we've got a double ball joint in the uh, upper torso. So there's a ball joint here and a ball joint here. So that if you grab his midsection and move it, you will see he's got like uh, a chicken head kind of thing going on. And that's because of the rotation of both balls at the same time, which is outstanding. This is a rubber uh, overlay piece. So you see how that can kind of be bent out. That's all rubber. So he's got an armature underneath where all the articulation hides. So when you bend him forward, he is not impeded at all by the sculpt, and you can see how far he bends forward. That's just with the uh, mid-torso joint, not even counting the waist joint. Side to side, outstanding, very cool rotation, of course, but just tons of mo motion there. And then he's got an additional ball joint in his uh, uh, waist, which has its own rotation, but like put those together, and he can go forward very far, very far back. Uh, the ball joint in the, mid in the waist also has popped out a couple times, but easily goes back and I haven't noticed any stress marks on it. Now as far as, as the uh, wrists go, uh, I did tell you that they pop off very easily for uh, hand swapping, which is great, but just to get you a better idea, it is a uh, swivel hinge swivel, uh, similar to SH Figure Arts. So there's a swivel and then a hinge here and then another swivel on the other side. Uh, some people have complained that the uh, web shooter should have rotation so that when he sticks his arm out straight to shoot his web, it should be on top here. Um, if that's going to bother you, this may not be the figure for you, but uh, for me, I, I don't really care that much. I'm not really that concerned with accuracy when it comes to posing. Um, but if that is going to bother you, you know, just be aware that that is a thing. But they did paint that web shooter very nicely. Very cool. Uh, so yeah, these uh, joints inside the wrist are very tight. I find that usually I have to pull the hand off and then uh, kind of get a, a twist like that on there and just make sure that I'm spinning it the right way and then spin it before I put the wrist back on because it is very, very tight. It's loosened up a little bit since I've been doing that, but uh, it's still not like loose. Loose enough for, you know, regular posing. Now we have SH Figure Arts styled hips where uh, there's a hinge that comes out uh, for the leg so that the leg has got its regular ball joint action, which is great, out to the side, very nice and everything. But then it has the additional hinge here so you can pull the leg down. What that allows you to do is give him very, very high kicks which is really cool and it also helps a lot in crouching positions. So you do like that and you get his feet all lined up and you can have a very convincing crouch that helps uh, with balance a lot too. It's awesome. And you know, just for the looks, you can always, when you're done, just push that right back up and you're right back where you are. So very cool. Some people have said that um, the hips do stick out a little too far. I could see that, um, but for a highly articulated action figure, it doesn't bother me that much. Um, so I'm cool with it, but you know, that's another thing to look out for if it's gonna bug you. I actually like how his uh, body is all kind of designed where he's still sort of gangly and skinny uh, like a kid. So that's pretty cool. But, uh, it, you know, any of that stuff that's going to bother you, just be aware that that's something with this figure. This is a highly articulated figure that's going to look great on your shelf. But, you know, in vanilla poses, he might not be as interesting as, like, the DST. But we'll get to that. Um, there's a little bit of rotation in the hips as well, as you can see there. 
um, on the actual ball joint, and then there's another swivel right here at the top of the thigh, so you get extra rotation there, which is outstanding. Double hinges in the knees, as you can see, outstanding right there. Very, very nice motion. And then in the feet, we have swivel hinge swivels, so the swivel goes up into the foot, so it gives you a nice rotation there. A hinge that goes back very far, forward very far, which is great for crouching poses. And then we've got another swivel that lets them go left to right, similar to uh, what Hasbro is doing now over uh, uh, with their Marvel Legends. So that's very cool. Uh, on top of that, we do have the toe hinge, which works very nicely. Um, I'm not big on toe hinges, so I'm glad that his is nice and tight. Now on the bottom, I, I didn't really show it, but it is uh, all uh, textured, detailed, and painted. So if you're into, uh, you know, showing the bottoms of feet for his uh, flying poses or anything like that, or his web shooting poses, um, you know, it'll look good. So that's cool. So as I said, this figure was about thirty bucks. Um, six inch scale figure, thirty dollars um, from Japan all the uh, kind of great detail and uh, articulation you expect from a good Japanese toy company like Metacom. Um, absolute steal. Uh, I think in the US uh, his opening price um, is like 55 For that, that's up to you if you want to make that call or not. Um, 55 is is still a, not a, an awful price for this figure. I'm just really glad that I got in for the early uh, Ami Ami pre-orders, and I think he was on pre-order for quite a while, so the opportunity was there, but not a whole lot of people really knew about the figure, so. Let me uh, go ahead and get the Hasbro and Diamond Select version in here so we can look at some comparisons. Now, how's that for a comparison shot? Really nice, like, uh, sloping like your signal bars on your cell phone. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Um, so here's the DST figure, the Moffax action figure, and the Hasbro. Uh, and you can see there's huge differences anyway. I would have said, you know, right out the gate, this guy is, is the better Spider-Man of, you know, Hasbro and Diamond Select. But when it comes to all three, I definitely have to give the edge to Moffex. Um Now, price-wise, these two are very similar. This guy is about $15. He's $20 to $25, and he's about, I got him for $30. So, you know, it was a good deal for me. For people who are paying $55, like I said, that's going to be on you if, if you decide this is the right figure. But articulation better than everybody. Um, sculpt, probably more accurate than both. Uh, he's got a very, you know, big shoulders and big upper torso, which looks really good, but this one's much closer to the uh, source material. Um, yeah, articulation, sculpt, paint on this guy is outstanding. The, the lenses in the eyes. For me, I think it's a solid buy. Um, if you can get him for anywhere from 30 to maybe 45 50 I would say he's a really good buy when you get above 50 you start thinking I oh, don't know as much but um, really he is a solid action figure very very nice very glad to have him in the collection um, and he comes with a lot of stuff too I mean you get stuff with the other figures too but I mean you get all these different hands the webs the stand is included uh, for 30 bucks I really couldn't have asked for more from this action figure um, for 40 bucks he still would have been a steal honestly um, so yeah, uh, really, really good figure, um, right in line with Marvel Legends, just so you guys can get an idea of, uh, how big he is compared to the standard Marvel Legends these days. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, kind of iconic mid-tier hero here, and, uh, that way you can see what he looks like next to Captain America. Um, a little bit taller than Bucky Cap by just a hair, um, but then again, scale with, uh, Marvel Legends has never been perfect anyway, even with the new figures. Um, yeah, still, I think he'll fit in great with your Marvel Legends figures. Like I said, I really want to get the Lizard from DST and have uh, him fighting this guy, because I think they'll match up quite well. And um, he's got just enough posability where he could do that little crawling all over him move that he did in the hallway, which is really cool. So that's it, guys. I really appreciate you stopping by. I'm sorry if this was a longer review than normal, but, you know, Japanese figures, I, I like to cover them very well because they do have a lot to go over, though. So um, I appreciate you spending the time to watch the video. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the box below. I'll be glad to answer them for you. Anything at all, um, yeah, just hit me. Uh, there's probably a million things I missed with this guy, but I'll be glad to answer any questions you have um, about this awesome, awesome action figure, who I am very, very happy to have. So very cool. Um, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate it. I will talk to you guys soon with uh, more Marvel reviews, it looks like. I got a lot of Marvel stuff lately. Jeez. So, yeah, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.
Stand up, Spider-Man. God, you're embarrassing me.